You too. What's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. And today in this video, I did a fade with a little mini fro on top. But the thing about this video is my client has fine hair. So I said, what a great opportunity for me to help you guys how to cut fine hair because there is a difference. All right. To all my students out there that really want to learn this video right here is for you. All right. If you are not subscribed, to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Stay tuned. YouTube, the first thing you want to do when you start off each haircut is brush the hair down. Using my Andy Slimline Pro LIs, I'm going to be setting in my first bald line. Alright, dealing with fine hair, you want to set that bald line in lower than you normally do. I'm starting uh, in the middle of the C cup and I'm bringing it around. The reason why I'm doing this is because um, if I set it how I normally do, um, I'm going to bring the fade higher uh, by doing that because it's fine here. Um, I'm giving it room for a greater transition when I set it lower and you guys will see what I'm talking about as we keep going. Using my wall magic clips, I'm balding out the rest of the bulk at the bottom. Using my ostrich fast feeds with the lever open, I'm going up a half inch. I'm not going up a full inch. I'm going up a half inch because I don't want to bring this fade up too high. This is going to be a tight blend because his hair is fine. With the one guard open, again, go up about a half inch, make sure everything is even, and keep everything consistent.
Now with the two guard open, I'm going straight up. Uh, not necessarily putting in a guideline, just taking off uh, some of the bulk from the top. Not taking off too much, just kind of want to blend everything together. Alright, dropping back down to the one guard open, I'm taking out that line between the one guard and the two guard. Now with the zero guard closed, you're flicking out that middle line. Now when you're flicking out, you want to make sure you go to the line and just flick out. Uh, you don't want to bring it up, you just want to flick out. Don't, don't, don't do like I did when I used my two guard and go straight up. It's more of a, to uh, on the, put your clippers on the scalp and away from the scalp real quick. So that's what I mean about uh, flick out. You want to do this because um, you just want to attack the middle line. You don't want to you don't want to bring the fade up. You just want to break the line, which means uh, have having your mind as if it's like thinning shears and you're you know getting every other hair. You know what I mean? You don't want to you know bring the fade up. It's not about bringing the fade up. It's about getting every other hair. Now with the lever open, I'm doing some cleanup work, um, working on that middle line still, because sometimes you won't be able to get it fully clean with the zero guard closed, so you're gonna have to come behind it with the lever open and flick out even more. Now with the lever closed, flick out that bottom line. Right now I'm just brushing down my client's front line just to get a visual on how I want to line it up.
My client wants to keep the top long, so I'm just gonna use my shears and I'm gonna do some uh, freehand trim on top using my wall magic clips and just getting the little hairs on top. So, like again, my client wanted to keep his top, so uh, I didn't want to take too much off. YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. All right? Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheers!